character produces good results. It's summer school. Who wants to be in school in summer? But it's a good, it's a good motivator. Bringing back basic fundamentals of life as well as sport. The United States government should have this program as a program, as an example of a program that works. The program that works is the Operation Higher Learning Les Harrison Character Education Camp. The summer school camp was for 700 sixth graders in the Rochester, New York Public School District. Nate Brown is the director. Quite frankly, I think the need is because um, young folks have to understand that good character produces good results. The idea was this. Digging holes builds character. Character education is both the goal and the supplement. The first layer of the summer school camp is in the classroom. I think it helps some students because of the carryover. They're not missing, you know, six, seven, eight, nine weeks in the summertime where they're not getting any reading at home or they're not getting any um, writing at home. The teachers in this class are working on the book Holes and helping the students with their composition skills. Okay, the one thing I want you to check is that you're putting this information right here back in your answer. Across the hall, Jason Clark is teaching science. One of his goals is to help his students get organized. We write a table of contents and I have the students write the different assignments for each, uh, for each day and keep them in order in their folder. Jason believes an organized student is a better student. It helps a lot. Uh, students can see what's missing. Uh, students can make up notes and things that students can go to another student and ask me or ask them for a, a, a specific assignment. I find fewer assignments on the floor and in the garbage. Can this experience turn some students around? Oh, yes, yeah, so I think it can turn a lot of them around. Why? Why? Because of the positive uh, reinforcement in school. And also perhaps the negative, you know, if, if I don't do what I'm supposed to, I'll end up in summer school. But not all the students here have failed a class. Some students are here to improve. So for the kids who aren't participating in a program, an academic program this summer, they're missing that gap. Students here have an incentive after their schoolwork is done. The carrot being sports, performing us computer. We need two teams, we need two teams. Oh, yeah. Sports, is, it's a great motivator. You know, it's summer school. Who wants to be in school in summer? But it's a good, it's a good motivator. And plus it's a good little, um, it's a good bribe for us to keep them going. Nate Brown has used that basketball bribe in the past. He's had previous sports academic camps. Nate kept the girls and boys separate. They're mixed in, in, in classrooms. But when they go to the camp, respective camps in the sports area, we or try the to, or the character education piece, we try to separate. Nate has a reason for the separation. The reason is because I can discipline a young man without him feeling embarrassed about a young lady. I want his ego won't come into play. So if I tell him, look, this is the correct behavior, I don't think because I went to old boys high school and this would happen to me, that he'll get so upset that he won't be able to listen. The same thing with young ladies. If you could discipline some young ladies without some guys in the room. They're not trying to show each other up. He says the same thing is true for the girls. Good job, ladies. Good job. The girls and boys basketball camp is named for a Rochesterian who is one of the NBA's founding fathers. Hello, everyone. I'm David Stern, commissioner of the National Basketball Association, and I want to welcome you to the Les Harrison basketball camp. I want you to know that Les Harrison was a very important person in the history of the NBA. As you know, Les Harrison started the Rochester Royals and which is now the Sacramento Kings. He also hired and um, drafted, I, I believe, first African American, Dolly Kidd. This is Les Harrison's ring that uh, in 1976 he was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Les Harrison's Rochester Royals won the NBA championship in 1951. Stan says Les cared about kids as much as he cared about basketball. He uh, designated his funds. In other words, his, uh, his endowment was earmarked to help kids in the city uh, better themselves and learn more about 
who they are, and what the game of basketball is about. The basketball camp featured such stars as former NBA great Spencer Haywood and... You having fun in the camp? Yeah. In the last of the camp, we got JoJo White coming in who played professionally in the league for 12 years, um, most only with the Boston Celtics. Uh, right now, a lot of emphasis is on, you know, material. A lot of emphasis is on the bling bling. You hear these kids use that terminology. Uh, but I say to them, uh, you're longer in life than you're in sport. And that's where the character education part of the camp comes into play. I think they're also getting a, a, a strong support from the character education part. Because we believe in this philosophy, we built into our schedule a half hour block each day where students also go to what's called a success management block. A major part of that is character building, something Nate Brown says produces good results. One of the exercises in character education is the key word for the day. For example, some of the themes during the course of the, the camp, trustworthiness, respect, cooperation, um, just helps young people realize that you need all those kinds of things to be successful in life. Like we have attitude, today we have accountable, we have courage, responsibility, and uh, we have to explain or give like a couple of details telling what, what did we do. So if I'm, if I'm going to have a good relationship with you, I need to be trustworthy. I need to be respectful. What does that mean and how does it come back to you in a positive sense? Part of the character education is to get what I like to call old school and new school folks in to talk to young people. Old school like Spencer Haywood. His rags to riches to addiction and back to redemption story makes him a much sought after public speaker. Why take time out of your busy schedule to come talk to these kids? Because I wouldn't be able to have that movie being shot. I wouldn't be able to have that um, that uh, auto industry job that I have, I mean, factory that I have in, in Michigan. Because if I don't make these contributions here, uh, I don't think God would see fit to let me have the other side. So I mean, coming back here to Rochester, it ain't no different than going back to the, to the inner city of Detroit. It's the same, it's the same home, same people. And when he's talking to these girls, Spencer emphasizes education is key and I try to do that I try to expound on that because they don't really understand who the competition is the competition is not these just these people here in this classroom you, you're competing against the world now everybody want to come to America and make some money Spencer Haywood the man who was both an Olympic and NBA champion was awed by what he saw in Rochester and this kind of program here is what you're doing is, you know, those people who fell it through the crack, they got a net down at the bottom down there. And this program is that net. So they don't get to hit, they got that close to the grip to the ground, falling, but they didn't, they didn't fall. They got caught. So now you bring the net back up and you say, all right, I'm going to sow some more seeds out here. That's what Nate Brown, the teachers, success managers, and others established with the Operation Higher Learning Les Harrison Character Education Camp. For them to understand that, that, that good character is something that you build upon and it's a progression. It doesn't happen overnight. And um, ultimately, you want to be a better person for society.